<coughs> Hello everybody, this is Vene here. Thank you for watching. I have my business name as Sania Santagiola and that's the way you can find me uh, through the social medias. Okay? Today I'm going to share with you a yoga tip to increase your spine flexibility. And we're going to practice camel pose. For that, you're going to need your yoga mat or a towel and yoga blocks or something that is similar to a yoga block it can be books that will help you um, with some progressions. Okay? I always work from uh, beginners to more advanced variation of the pose and I suggest you do the same and always stay with the pose of the variation of the pose that works for you, okay? Everybody's different. I'm a PE teacher and I do aerial circles, acrobatics, aerial circles, aerial hook, aerial trapeze, and I'm helping to the people that practice aerial acrobatics to get more flexible and mobile with yoga, okay? Because I'm a yoga instructor. So, go and get your stuff and we're going to get started in the practice. If you have any spine problem, go and check with your physiotherapist first. So let's do a quick warm up as we're here, okay? You can use your blocks right away on the side and let's take a deep breath in with your chest forward and exhaling round it. And start again, inhaling with your chest forward, exhaling round it. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Now the next time your spine is going to do a circle. Allow your spine to start moving and feeling good. Inhaling with your chest forward, exhaling round it. And stop and change the direction, go the other way. I'm going to go like this so you can see me. Good. Now raise your arms, introduce your fingers, and go with the side stretch. And let's warm up a little bit the shoulders, as they are really, really involved in the canal pose. Okay? Alright. If you need to stay longer on your warm up, you can do so. We're going to start with your knees as well as your hips. Okay? At the beginning, I really, really like to tuck my toes under. I like the feeling of the nice stretch in the soles of my feet, but if it doesn't work for you, you can just sit on your heels. And if it is too uncomfortable or hard on your knees, you can place a pillow here, okay, for you, or, excuse me, fold them out in half in this area, okay, the area that you need are right there. Let's make the yoga blocks on the side and we're going to start breathing in, lifting your hips, engaging your quadriceps and your glutes and pressing on the blocks as you inhale and as you exhale lower. And we got to get inhale and lift, exhale lower. Let's do two more, okay? Inhale and lift. And exhale lower. And one more, we're gonna hold it there. I would like you to start being aware of engaging the glutes, your lower back, and your quadriceps. If this high doesn't work for you, you can always place it higher, okay? So start at the level that works for you. And now we're gonna switch hands on the hips. Squeeze your elbows in on your hips. Inhale and exhale here. Good. Use the blocks again. Use your hands for support and slowly lower. You can repeat this like five more times as you're still feeling more comfortable on your lower back. And if you feel this is hard, then this is how far you're going to go today. Okay? Be careful. There's nothing wrong with that. We just don't want to get any injuries. All right? Okay. Next step, it will be to bring the blocks to the really lower part. Same thing. Inhale, left. 
engage the quadriceps, engage the glutes, let's squeeze your glutes, and your neck should be kind of relaxed, okay? Meaning that we don't put any extra contraction on your neck, and we don't drop the head down. Think that you want to engage your shoulders and your back muscles, and kind of look up to the sky in a relaxed way. Inhale and exhale. Maybe if you're super comfortable here, you can switch blocks for heel. Okay? And you press forward as you inhale and exhale. On your way to get out, engage the core. Up and down. So you can repeat that like a few more times until your spine is getting more and more flexible. Now we're going to get into a more advanced variation, okay? Get your block in your hand this time. We're going to breathe in, lift the hips, raise your arms over your head and see how far you feel you can go. Inhale. Slowly come back. When you're dropping back, don't forget to keep your leg muscles, your glutes, your core, and your back muscles super awake and ready to hold your spine. Okay? We're going to do it again. We're going to get a little bit deeper. And maybe the block is going to tap on the mat behind your head. Okay? Inhale, lift. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the quads all the way behind. Maybe your hands are going to reach your floor. If it does, bring your elbows in. Don't open your elbows. And then you're almost, almost, almost into a Danurasana pose. Pick up your block and go all the way to seat. And I know for some people this must be really advanced. So again, stop at the level that works for you, okay, and you don't get injury. We're going to go with one more, a little bit more advanced variation of the pose. If you feel comfortable here, we're going to rest the top of our head on the block first and on the mat after, okay? Breathe in, <laughs> raise, 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 all the way behind. Place your block, place the top of your head, use your hands, keep your neck and shoulders far away, keep your back muscles engaged, and keep your elbows in, squeeze your elbows in, deep breathing. You can get out now, slowly going to one side, push, and sit. Take a deep breathing in. And now we're going to do the last variation for today with the head all the way down on the mat. And yes, it's going to be much more advanced. Leave the block on the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift. All the way behind. Good. Take a deep breath in. Engage your back muscles. Squeeze your elbows in. Neck and shoulders far away. Squeeze the glutes. Push and lift. Okay. Two counter postures to do here. We're going to twist first. So bring your left hand behind and cross your right one. Look over the right shoulder. Or your left shoulder or your back shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Relax your tailbone. And now the same thing on the other side. Twist and relax your tailbone. Good. You can repeat the same sequence again. Go as far as you feel as comfortable on your spine. And when you do your last sequence, when you're ready to take a break from practicing your back bends, then we get into our child pose, okay? And we relax your back muscles, your lower back, your 
shoulders, your neck. So let's do that. I'm gonna create a little bit of space here because it looks like <laughs> she's taking all the space. Awesome. Hands looking up, behind next to your body, and relax your forehead down. Take a deep breath in where you are. On your exhalation, slowly start coming out of the pose. If you need to take a longer breath, you can stay there for longer. Yeah. And you can also make your twist sliding on your back. That is always a good option. I hope this quick tutorial and how to practice camel pose and how to go further from here is helping you. Let me know in the comments if this is working for you. And I'll see you next week. Every week I'm posting a yoga tip, a tutorial about pose, about how can we improve our flexibility and mobility for those people that are doing either circus acrobatics or pole dance, or if you just want to practice at home and get better and more flexible. My name is Renee from Sanya Sanda Yoga. And I'll see you next time. Get deep breathing in. Namaste.